this is my first time ever staying the night in a capsule hotel. Well, you know it's gonna be a good type of morning when you wake up before the sun does. It's about 6 a.m., I slept for three hours, and now I'm checking out of this beautiful full-sized accommodation to go stay in a type of place that I have never been before. I have now finally arrived at the capsule hotel. I can see the sign on the wall and it's directing me down this interesting looking alleyway. So it's time to check in. All right, I have never checked into a hotel like this before. So let's see what happens. All right, so you scan the QR code. Number 18, that looks like that's the uh, the capsule I'm staying in. I'm gonna add in my code and enter. I think I'll probably enter the uh, rooms pretty quietly because I'm not sure if there's anyone taking a nap or anything, so I'm gonna go check it out and find a place to leave my luggage. <laughs> hotel they have a shared kitchen space in here they have a co-working place they don't have breakfast included but they have a fridge to store some of your food in and also an unlimited coffee machine unfortunately they do not have a gym so I'm not gonna be able to work out tonight oh darn all right, my bags have been secured and I've slipped into some warmer clothes, which means that I am ready to head out. And keep in mind, I'm running on about three hours of sleep right now. And usually if I was in a normal hotel, I would be tempted to slide into bed and maybe just watch a few hours of Netflix instead. But I think one of the benefits of staying in a capsule hotel is that you don't really have like the space where you would want to just spend all day inside of it. So it encourages you to uh, get out and do more. So because of that, I am going to challenge myself to make the most out of my remaining daylight hours here in Lucerne. So let's get started. One of my absolute favorite aspects of this city is that there are not only one, but two medieval covered bridges that have miraculously survived the past several centuries. You can see these amazing paintings on the ceilings of these bridges depicting moments throughout history. And you can also get stunning views of one of the most famous churches in all of Lucerne. I am about to turn the corner and see a place called the Lion's Monument for the first time. And oh my gosh, this is so much bigger than I was expecting it to be. Wow. The Lion's Monument was designed in the early 1800s to commemorate the death of over 700 Swiss Guard soldiers who died defending King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette during the French Revolution. In the sculpture, you'll see a lion laid over a French shield with a spear in its side. It's definitely a very somber uh, monument, but I have to say this is one of the most fascinating things that I have seen in Switzerland so far. I'm now heading back to the train station to meet up with a friend that I haven't met yet. Her name is Fabian and she noticed earlier today that I was in Lucerne. So she reached out on Instagram and offered to show me around. A pro travel tip is if you ever have the opportunity to see a city with a local, you have to do it because it gives you a completely different perspective on what it's like to live here. <laughs> How are you? Hi, I'm fine. So nice to meet you. Literally, like being back in time <laughs> right now. Oh. 
I can't believe we made it all the way to the top of the watchtower. You can get some really incredible views of the city from here. All right, so we have just explored a bit more of the town. Now, what's the next part of our uh, agenda now? So we are heading to Migro, like the main supermarket, mm -hmm. and then we buy some cheese, <laughs> and yeah, and then we go to my place and have a oh, raclette. <laughs> raclette? I've never had this before. I so. hope you like cheese. <laughs> I do love cheese, so I'm excited for this. <laughs> traditional raclette so we, here we have different kind of cheese so we have cheese um, with pepper we have cheese with paprika garlic and normal one and you just pick what, any flavor you want to try and you have this little thing where you can put it in so I go for the paprika one first and just put it and you put it on here in the oven and it will melt oh so it goes down on this lower level <laughs> That's so cool. And here on the top we are doing a little barbecue as well. So you we always start with the, the bacon because this will give you a little bit of oil you need later on. And then later on you can also add the sausages and also mushrooms. Thank you Cheers. for having me. <laughs> My gosh. It's my first ever a bite of raclette. Wow. Mm. It's such a perfect uh, like winter comfort food. It's warm, this melted cheese just goes so perfectly with the potatoes. Oof, this is an amazing way to end the night. Oh well. Our time together is coming to an end. Thank you so oh, yeah. much. It was so nice having you here. Oh, You're always welcome. This was so fun and wow, I'm <laughs> so full and exhausted from that meal. <laughs> Just arrived to take me back into the city. Oh. Wish you all the best. It's been Thank great you to so hear from much. you soon. Yeah. Yes. Let's keep in touch. All right. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> This was an absolutely perfect day in Lucerne and now it's time to head back to the Capsule Hotel, take a shower and give you a room tour of this little pod that I'm going to be spending the night in. I have just arrived back in the hotel and I'm about to go into the capsule room, but I'm gonna be speaking a bit more quietly because it is past 10 p.m. and there are some people sleeping in here. So time to start the quiet vlog. made it into the bathroom. I definitely want to be quiet out there because I can tell so many people are sleeping. I am so excited for this shower right now. Much better. All right, so the first thought that crosses my mind is how am I not going to suffocate in here? And right off the bat, I can see there are two air vents. They're labeled do not cover that are circulating air within the capsule. And over here on the door, it says that the air is exchanged 20 times every hour and that an alarm goes off if the CO2 is too low. And I feel a bit better about that because of the alarm. And it also says over here that it was designed in Switzerland. So I definitely trust the Swiss, but I'm not gonna lie. It does give me a bit of anxiety to close this door all the way. I do get a bit claustrophobic. So the idea of getting stuck in this little box definitely kind of freaks me out but at the same time it's kind of comforting that the door you can only open it from the inside if you don't have the code you can't unlock it so if I hear somebody walking by the capsule at night I'm not worried about them coming into uh, this spot and also I love this big mirror because it actually makes it feel a lot larger in here than it actually is I'm gonna be sleeping with 
with my backpack inside of the room with me with all my electronics and my valuables just so I don't have to worry about anyone taking anything and unfortunately the locks that the hotel provided uh, don't fit in the lockers so uh, not great and hopefully I'll still have enough room for uh, my feet to stretch out all the way. The lighting in here is also adjustable, but I do wish that it could change colors because that would just be so cool. I hate the upward facing lights also. It looks really good, but you're just having these lights shining in your eyes the entire time. There are two outlets here, this adorable little storage shelf, and these little hangers along the side. This comforter actually looks really thick. It's definitely going to keep me warm all night, and the mattress is feeling super comfortable. It's actually like pretty thick. It almost feels like two mattresses stacked on top of each other, and it's about the width of my hand, which means that it's going to be super comfortable. It has been such a long day of adventuring, and I am so ready to get some good sleep. So, good night. <laughs> well, I'm dehydrated. Ugh. Got so hot in here last night under this thick blanket with like barely any air circulation. I was basically peeling off layers of clothing because there's just no fans in here, which is uh pretty uncomfortable actually. This was my first ever time staying in a capsule hotel and honestly it's almost like a hybrid hostel. Uh, there's so much more privacy because you have a real door closing you off from the other people. What I dislike the most about staying in hostels is how noisy your neighbors can be. There was someone who stumbled in pretty late last night and slammed their door closed and I could hear some faint snoring off in in the distance but overall it was so much more of a restful experience I you know I actually really liked this so much the hotel didn't provide any kind of amenities like a you know a set of earplugs or shower shoes but you know at least there was a towel for the shower that was free <laughs> How crazy is this place? I definitely plan on staying in a capsule hotel again in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. But wait, before you go, as I've mentioned elsewhere, I was already making the switch over to Squarespace before they asked to sponsor today's video. So let me tell you about three of their awesome features. With Squarespace domains, in just a few clicks, you can start or transfer a web domain so that you can build or refresh your online presence all through the same service as your website host. With Squarespace analytics, you can learn about page views, traffic sources, audience geography, and more to gain in-depth insights into your sites, visitors, and how they use your website. With Squarespace website templates, you can build your own beautiful website by yourself without needing to know code or hiring an expensive designer to build a website for you. So if you're interested, check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to get started, go to squarespace.com slash LexiLimitless for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain and use my code LexiLimitless. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to join the Limitless Army, don't forget to subscribe. I've also recently launched a newsletter, so if you want to get that and a free preview of my upcoming book, go to LexiLimitless.com newsletter. I'll catch you next week.